Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Edge Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Burger King logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugin, but with the help of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. And if you want to learn more about logo animation from scratch, then don't forget to check out my Udemy course Logo Animation in After Effects. Link is available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time. Let's get started. So first of all here we are in Adobe Photoshop. Now I have this Burger King logo over here. You can easily get this logo from Google. Now we have to change some settings in this because we have to edit for our animation. So first of all I am going to remove this background. So I will simply uh, either you can choose magic eraser tool or you can simply go to the select choose color range and with the help of this picker you can pick up this color like this and hit ok and simply delete this white color and hit ctrl d to deselect this then i'm going to press m on my keyboard to select my rectangle selection tool and first i'm going to choose this topmost bun so i'll hit ctrl x i'll create a new layer and i'll press ctrl shift v to paste in place and i'll hide this then i'm going to select this one which is at the downwards i'll hit ctrl x i'll create a new layer i'll press ctrl shift v to paste in place and i'll hide this then uh, we need each and every alphabet on separate layer so i'll do that same procedure i will follow for this b i'll select this i'll hit ctrl x new layer press ctrl shift v and uh, double click and name it b and we will hide this then we will follow the same procedure for all of these alphabets simply create new layer double click and type u So uh, I'll do this procedure a little bit faster. Okay, so each and every alphabet is properly on separated layers. So now we will uh, name them as they are. This is I. This is K. This is R. This is E. This is G. Sorry. Yep. So uh, our each and every alphabet is properly separated. We will call this as up, down, and we will save this file. Okay. Then I'll go to the Adobe After Effects. We'll create new composition, and we are going to name it as main animation. Width is 1920. Height is 180. Frame rate. Let's choose 30 seconds. Duration is also 30 second, and background color is white. Simply hit OK go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection then i'm going to press ctrl i to import my photoshop file i'll select this import as instead of footage choose composition return layer sizes and simply hit import and simply hit ok and we will bring double click to open this comp now i'll select all of these layers i'll hit ctrl c i'll go to the main animation and i'll hit ctrl v so as you guys can see each and every uh, thing is properly over here but size is not normal so for that what we can do simply right click and create on new and choose one null object then select all of these layers by hitting ctrl a you can make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s for scaling option and scale it the size like this and try to adjust this properly over here so now our burger is properly adjusted at the center we will select this null object and we will delete that okay so now we have to adjust some anchor points so i'll select my uppermost bun over here like this and then uh, uh let's choose this pen behind tool 
or I don't think we need to adjust the anchor point of this one but we will adjust the anchor point of this one so I'll select this I'll select this pen behind tool uh, let's select this and by holding control I'll adjust this properly over here okay so this is this now let's select these alphabets and we will hide them and we will lock them also now we have to animate this burgers over here so press p for position and let's do one thing i'll select this and press ctrl alt home we don't need this anchor point at downwards so sorry for my mistake let's select both of them and we will create one keyframe at position zoom in a little bit go to somewhere around one second we will create another keyframe over here and this time i'll select this burger and i'll bring this downwards over here uh, and go to the stop let's select this burger and we will move this over here select this burger and we will move this over here so if you see we will get something like this okay let's make this fit and go somewhere around 20 frames we create another keyframe and go to around 1.20 frames select both of them and let's move them upward like this now select both the keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure to choose speed graph select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here select this and move this handle over here zoom in a little bit select this move one handle over here and one handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if you see now we will get this kind of bouncing let's select this and try to adjust this over here so we'll get sharp moment of this bounce there now select this up layer and let's move this to 10 frames over here so first we will get this animation then we will get this animation if you want then you can move this a little bit forward also like this so we will get something like this then let's try to adjust this somewhere around over here like this yeah this looks good to me first this and then this and then at this point what i want is i'll right click and i'll create new and let's choose null object select this null object press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center let's select this null object over here and let's move this over here now select this upmost layer and we will make it apparent with this null object like this okay so if you see first we will get this animation then at this point i'll select this null object i'll press r for rotation let's create one keyframe then go somewhere around over here and let's rotate it like this then go a few frame forward and select this first keyframe and hit ctrl c ctrl v now we will select those keyframes and we will hit f9 and if you see we will get this kind of animation but this is not how we want that so now i'll select this i'll select this rotation keyframes zoom in uh, let's hold alt and we will reduce the duration by holding alt and go to the graph editor now it should go a little bit faster so uh, let's select this and let's move try to move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this and it should become a faster when it's going to come over here so we'll select this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see now we need to make it something like this so let's we will get this animation first and let's try to move this keyframes a little bit over here and after this point over here which means at this point i'll right click i'll create new and i'll create another null object and this null object press ctrl alt home and we will try to move this at the bottom and select bo uh, this null object and this fourth layer which is this one and make it apparent with this one okay so this is for squashing so i'll go somewhere around over uh, somewhere around at this point let's say press s create one keyframe so unlink this go to at this point and let's squeeze this like this and squeeze this like this with the help of scale so we will get something like this then go few frame forward and we will regain its original keyframe like this so if you see this animation now first we will get this so it will look like it's squashing okay 
then at this point over here i am going to select this uh, upper most uh, what we call this uh, bun let's create one keyframe at position again then one keyframe at rotation again create one keyframe and hit u then we will go somewhere around over here i am going to select this bun and i will move this over here like this then go somewhere around over here and now we will enable our alphabet layers so we can see where is going to be our last position then at this point it should come over here at the top like this and select this position keyframes and hit f9 over here then go somewhere around at this point let's say go somewhere around over here i'm going to create another keyframe and in middle of that i'll move this upward again and now uh, again we have to adjust the position keyframe graph editor so select those keyframes go to the graph editor zoom in it should go upward faster so i'll select this move this handle over here and this handle over here select this move this handle over here and this one should be over here and move this over here this over here so if you see we will get proper animation like this okay now uh, over here we need to add rotation animation also uh, so let's go somewhere around over here and let's make this one rotation and let's make this minus one rotation and let's see how does it looks and select those rotation keyframes hit f9 and go to the graph editor select this graph <coughs> sorry move one point over here and one over here yep okay so if you see this animation now we will get this and we will get this and now uh, obviously we need to create this burger king animations over here so let's select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as text to pre-compose this and double click to open this and now over here we can animate this text so simply select all of them press p create one keyframe then press r create one keyframe then press s create another keyframe and hit u zoom in a little bit go to around one second uh, and let's move let's go somewhere around over here create another keyframe and in middle of that we will move this upward like this and at the start let's go to the align tab and we are going to choose this align vertically so all will come like this and we have to move this downwards like this so if you see we will get something like this and at this point uh, let's go few frame forward we will again create another keyframe at position and at this point we will move this a little bit upward so if you see this now first we will get something like this now press p for position select all of those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit let's select this by holding shift we will move this handle over here and this handle over here this one should be over here and this one should be over here this one over here and this one over here try to uh, make them a little bit close to each other like this okay then go to the start press r for rotation uh, create one keyframe hit u go somewhere around one second and let's make this minus one again one complete rotation like this press r for rotation keyframes again select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here so we'll get something like this then press s for scaling option uh, go few frame forward somewhere around 10 seconds we will create one keyframe and at the start it should be zero 
so we'll get something like this and this should be uh, animated one by one so first this b so we hit page down button two times select this u and move this over here so uh, we will follow this procedure for all of them so they are going to animate one by one like this okay and if you want then uh, suppose if you want that king should start to appear first so hit page down button and move, try to move this uh, from downwards so it would be awesome like this okay so this is how we will get something like this okay so this is how we will get something like this and then go to the main animation and let's hide this text for now let's see our animation and uh, when this bun is going to snap over here i'll select this text comp and i'll move this over here so it will try to animate from this point and go inside this text select all of this and enable motion blur also over here select all of them and enable motion blur so now if you see this animation we are gonna get something like this okay then select all of them press ctrl shift c hit recomposition hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p bring this downwards so we will get this reflection press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 20 or uh, even 10 it's totally up to you the way you want your reflection so now if you see this thing we will get something like this then right click new and we will create one null object select all of them make it apparent with this null select this null press s let's make this initially 110 create one keyframe then uh, as the animation goes forward we will make this up to 90 so if you see now along with this animation we will get a little bit of zooming animation also enable this icon over here so we will get that proper rotation over here like this let's move this up to seven seconds yep so yep this is how you can create burger king logo animation inside of after effects with the help of adobe photoshop and adobe after effects